Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, y'all. Welcome back to another Monster D-Face patch notes video. First off, I want to apologize for being late for this one. Had to sleep in, went out to the bar last night, moved to Texas, celebrated. We IRL streamed it on Twitch. It was amazing. But I can guarantee you guys it's going to be the best Fortnite patch notes you guys have ever seen. 9.30 content update. The pump shotgun is back in the game. And this is to test out the effectiveness of the pump versus the combat and lay it all to rest. Not only that, we have the revolver, the brand new revolver. Simple, reliable, powerful. Check out this new classic right here. And actually, I should keep my camera right over here. That way I'm aiming at the gameplay. That makes more sense to me um, or the content on the screen. <laughs> so I'll slide this bad boy over here. And uh, oh, actually, I don't think I could, but let's just get through it. Here we go. So weapons and items, I'll keep it from the top down and bam, revolver available in epic and legendary variants, fires medium ammo, holds six rounds, 63, 66 damage per shot, headshot multiplier of two. Dang, so this actually does really good damage. It's similar to the uh, hand cannon, except faster, fiery than the hand cannon, making it a little bit different. Still has that 2x multiplier though. What has been vaulted in the game? So vaulted. The rare tactical assault rifle was put away from the game. Impulse grenades have been taken out of the game. Rift to go removed. The pirate cannon also taken out of the game. Pirate cannon is a good addition to be vaulted in this situation because we know it's been buggy for quite some time. Let's take a look at what has been unvolted. Now, this is where, oh man, it's really going to shake things up. The uncommon rare pump shotgun have been taken out of the vault guys here it is this is actually in the game the suppressed smg is back in the game shock waves are back in the game to counterbalance the rift to go um and then the tactical shotgun has also gotten a little bit of a nerf here but let's talk about it or excuse me a little bit of a buff but let's talk about it there has been a lot of feedback around the tactical combat effectiveness so we're experimenting with a world where the pump joins the current shotgun lineup so the pump is joining the combat shotgun i literally have been calling this because, well, your boy MDF gets a little bit of that inside scoop every now and then. And I got to talk to Eric in person at the Pro-Am, at the Fortnite uh, party. And I, I mean, he may or may not have said, hey, we're going to see what happens. And they just did it. They literally did it. I've been telling you guys that we're going to do it. It like actually just happened. So let's, let's, let's talk about the next thing. Suppressed SMG being back in the game. Love the suppressed SMG being in the game. Um, they also took out the, the tactical. So there's going to be a little bit of a balance there for sidearms. And then this is a real, real kicker right here. Tactical shotgun. The tactical shotgun is in the game. All right. So we know it. Available, uh, availability on the floor loot has been dropped down to 5.4%. So way less common. Now with normal pumps in the game. But it got a buff. So from 2x to 2.25x. So the tactical shotgun low key just got a viability buff like if you have a tactical this makes it hit hard like we're talking probably like back in the day hard like not too shabby damage right here not too shabby um first smg availability has been reduced that way you can find more normal smgs because you know a lot of people don't really uh, dig the burst SMG. So Fortnite says, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop that. And then they and then they balanced it. Check this out. Balance adjustments, base accuracy increase. So it's a lot more accurate, the burst, just in case if you guys were feeling that it wasn't accurate before. Jump in accuracy penalty. So you can just move with that thing in laser players. I don't think it needed this much of a jump up, but hey, this is what happened. Sprinting accuracy penalty reduced down from 30 to 20. So again, all of these adjustments here are going to make it just be way better. And then including the base damage up by one. So the burst SMG was dropping a bit too frequently and the role that it was intended to fill. Additionally, it was underperforming compared to other items. So they, they, woof, the burst SMG is fire right now. That damage upgrade, just everything that they did to it, making it that accurate, it makes it such a viable sidearm but it's not as uh common as it was before so hey, if you got the shot i think that gun will definitely out frag a lot of the other weapons but we'll see semi-auto sniper again just reduced because people don't really want to find it as much and then reduced from chest making other items you know kind of 
probably be a little bit more viable. The flint knock definitely needed an adjustment. Um, it was a little too common. So to see it drop down to 1.32, hopefully it's not like gone you know, from the loot pool or making it feel like it's not uh, anywhere to be found on the floor loot. We'll see. Infantry rifle increase the epic and legendary uh, clip size from 8 to 10. So the infantry rifle got a buff up, which I didn't think it needed. But hey, man. 10 in the bag for that is going to be really nice. Uh, minigun, increased player damage up to 21. Another item that I don't think need an adjustment, but got a little bit of a buff. And then another gameplay change right here. I didn't think the drum gun was going to get adjusted either, but the drum gun went from 50 down to 40. And then fire rate reduction. So is the drum gun going to still be good to spam down walls with? I don't know. Not really. It's not looking like it's the weapon to like just outshine every other side on him anymore. Uh, suppressed SMG has always been just a solid go to. Now the suppressed SMG is definitely, definitely going to be able to go toe to toe with the drum gun and the burst rifle, the burst uh, SMG. Let's not even talk about that. The burst SMG is going to be able to shred through players with accuracy and precision. But remember, it's got that short magazine. So we'll see how this goes and plays in the game. Last but not least, we have the Heavy Assault Rifle and Supply Llama changes. The Heavy Assault Rifle got a buff. It's back to its old and former glory. You know, base damage going up to 30, 40, 42. They, they, uh, they claim that the usage of the uh, Heavy Assault Rifle wasn't quite where they wanted it to be. So this adjustment is going to go ahead and um, offset some of the downsides of the weapon, which is the accuracy and, um, you know, the slow fire rate. But uh, you got to be careful with the Heavy Assault Rifle. Remember, when it was at its original uh, state, the heavy assault rifle was just disgustingly strong, and, and you guys saw it out there. So making it a little bit more stronger by have it or, or give it some more appeal again, but they also gave the infantry rifle more appeal as well, right, by upping that mag size. So we'll see how that goes. And then last but not least, the supply llama increased material count up to 350. Why not, dude? And then matches of or the amount of llamas in the match up to five. So... All around the board, there is nothing wrong with this patch. This is an absolutely fire patch. I am so sorry that I'm late to upload this. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm going live on Twitch soon, so I'll see you guys out there. I'm going to go play this update. Peace, guys. Peace.